So cancer, you know, this person has been operating in a dead relationship, a relationship that's no longer fulfilling for them at all. Um, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, February. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of uh, the reading. It is time stamped. Okay, so this section is uh, really for those that just kind of far to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so feel free to jump heads on the side. It should be in the description bar below. Um, as I always say, as you guys know, please take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up, you know, on your story, you can always stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take this in and I'll be. So Cancer, let's start the read it. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys, I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking. Okay. So we're going to start from where it is at the moment, the current connection, the current state of the connection. So you're, there's, 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 there's intimacy here between the both of you. You know, I feel like you recognize that you both feel a certain type of way about each other. There's acknowledgement of that um, for both of you, most definitely. But there is someone that is looking in on this or trying to, I am hesitant to say trying to stop this because whether they're consciously aware or subconsciously trying to stop this, it's either consciously or subconsciously, but they're trying to stop this. I feel like I'm not sure whose side it's coming from, though. It could be coming from this person's side, just based on their past thinking and feeling, um, which is this sneaking behind the scenes. It's this going behind the scenes, doing something. It's like sneaking away. It's like they're trying to sneak away from something that has died, that has gone, that has yeah face the the ending of and this is their emotions it's like they 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 no longer have emotions for uh, the person that they're in or the person that they've been in a relationship with is dead the ma if it's a marriage the marriage is dead they're in it but it's just not emotionally fulfilling it's no longer feeding them in the way that they used to or it used to if it ever did and there is this kind of sneaking away from that moving away from that but not being communicative it's, they're not communicating that to the person so it's like they're sneaking sneaking away from that for you i feel like there's acknowledgement on this person's situation because of how you're thinking or how you was thinking in the past it's this you know it causes you you're up in your head up in your head constantly thinking mulling things over uh, just going about your day-to-day -day, but still thinking about this person, still thinking about this situation, unable to escape your own thoughts when it comes to this. This is self-inflicted as well. It's not something that you don't have control over. Um, but with that, it's giving you this feeling of, okay, so I need to make a choice. I need to make a choice about this. I need to make a choice about something. So like I said, at the moment, it's this acknowledgement that there's intimacy here there's similarity here we you know there's a connection here there's attraction here um for both of you but you're kind of not feeling how things are you're just not it's it's not you're, you're focusing on what is and in terms of this person's situation 
just where you're at, it's like, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't sit right with you. It's like, you know, why did this person have to be in a relationship? Why did this, that type of stuff? You're focusing on everything that's not going right according to you. Um, and this person is quite interested in terms of their stance because they've got the hierarchy and they're showing up as the hierarchy and we talks about commitment. Higher knowledge as well, wisdom, but also very much commitment. I feel like this person is in a space to really... This person's in a space to commit to you naturally because of how they feel and, of course, their situation is dead. There's no... I just don't get a sense there's any emotions or feelings there that they have for this quote-unquote existing relationship that they are in or was in or are in. All right. For a lot of you, I don't feel like it's ended at all. However, however, because they're there, it doesn't mean that it's not challenging for them to bring this about, bring this into fruition. And I'm not sure, and I'm going to pull on that, because as much as it's dead for them, meaning the emotional aspect of the relationship, we've also got the death card being their challenge. So it's like, to some degree, they're unable to lay this to rest. And I say unable to, meaning this challenge around, yeah, do you see that? But the hangman, it's like they're not able to move on this, um, not able to walk away, you know, move towards you, to, to move towards ultimately what it is that they're wanting. It was like the um, magician card again. You know, unable to lay it to rest, unable to manifest. Because magician talks about having all the tools, all the resources, all the beliefs, the emotional state, in order for you to make something happen. That's in your challenge. On top of the death card, um, yeah, and changing. It's like this person wants to start again. This person wants to move out of this relationship that's ultimately dead. Um, but there's challenges around them doing. This person ultimately wants emotional fulfillment. You know, but we'll get into that in a minute. For you, you know, like I said, you're not feeling how things are. You know, you're focusing on everything that's not going right. Your challenge is, is being able to balance your emotional space, being able to balance your thinking around this. Because when once you've calmed yourself down, once you're able to get your thoughts out, write in a journal, script, whatever it is that you need to do in order for you to kind of have some form of balance, calmness when it comes to your thinking you're able to feel a lot more stable in this this is self-inflicted what you're thinking because yes you know and I'm not condoning whatever the case may be yes you know this person you've met them you've established some form of connection with them at a point in their life where they're in a relationship or they was in a relationship whatever the case may be um however that doesn't cause you to because like I said it's self-inflicted that doesn't mean that you need to beat yourself up. It's not even so much beat yourself up. Is focus on that. No one's saying for you to still engage in this relationship until they kind of sort their self out. But focus on the fact that it might not happen. This person, you know, all the challenges that come with this connection. There's no need for you to focus on that. Especially if we feel, you know... The, watching my type of channel you know I, I believe in and I always say you know use this as a guide to to move in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality and that starts with your thinking how you perceive something to be you know so if you're finding it challenging which you are <laughs> and if you're resonating with this reading get your thoughts out in a journal get your thoughts out on paper write write out um, and try and balance that try and counteract those thoughts with something that you can feel better about it's bit by bit though if that makes sense yeah we've got the three of cups there so you're wanting that to be sorted really you wanting you wanting that to be sorted naturally this person this person wants emotional fulfillment this person wants love this person wants the, this person's ready to to and it's just a shame that they're in a relationship or they're in some form of setup, which has caused them to, you know, it's just a shame because this person wants genuine love, this person wants emotional fulfillment because they've just not, I feel like this person has maybe living, been living in a, 
an empty relationship for quite a while for a lot of you. It's an empty relationship in a sense of, you know, maybe this person was staying because of the kids or maybe this person was staying because they had things tied up, investments, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Usually at this point of the reading, guys, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to, i.e. their next step, your next step, and then the new reality that emerges from that. Um, so like I said, their challenge is around, you know, bringing this, moving in, moving into this, ending this thing, ending this thing, ending this thing. And yours is balancing your thinking and your thoughts around this, not being so affected by what's going on at the moment, ultimately. So hopefully this is giving you some more clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, and say, say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.